Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to change your um your pads and rotor on a um Malibu. If your Malibu look like this, it's the same thing. I think this is a 2015. So first thing first, I gotta take off the tire, and it's gonna be 21, no 22 millimeter. It's gonna be 22 millimeter. All right, for the lug nut, or if you can get your lug tool that come with a car that will work too and guys please go ahead and subscribe to the channel help me help you see you next time just kidding bear with me So you want to get these off. Get the tire off. Alright. And over here is going to be one 13 millimeter right here and another 13 millimeter right there. So I'm going to take out those two 13 millimeter right now. Alright. On this car I'm not changing the rotor because the rotor is good but I'm going to show you how to change your rotor though. Just the patch in the back. You gotta turn it to go in. I got this tool, but um, this tool don't work, so I gotta get a um, a bird beak or needle nose, whichever name you call it. Put it in the groove right here. I'm gonna show it to you right there in the groove, and then you wanna turn it clockwise. All right. It might be hard to turn at first, but once you get it turning, it's easy. All right, so now I get it to, to turn, so now it's gonna be easy. All right, it's a little hard, but, and you wanna put pressure on it, like you wanna push it in, but turn it at the same time, to turn and push at the same time. So the more it turns, the easier it gets. So just continue until it goes in. You want to turn it until you can put the other pads on, all right? <coughs> all right, so it's gone in. Put this over here. So because we're going to take off the um, the rotor, we're going to need a T30 to take this out right here, T30 port, which I got right here. All 
right? And also, you have one right here, one bolt right here, and another one right here, all right? Because this bolt can't really get no socket, I'm gonna have to use a wrench. And while I'm loosening it out, I'm gonna come forward with this because it's not gonna pass right here. It's gonna give a little bit of trouble. So come forward with this, all right? And this one, it will come out just fine. So I'm gonna take that out. And, and this at this point, you wanna put some WD-40. All right, so you wanna get a flathead screwdriver. Go in here. Get that out. And lucky me, I don't have to beat it because it come loose while I was taking out the pipe. But if you have to beat it to get it loose, you gotta beat right here, 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 here. After you take out this, all right. So let's go take out these two screws at the back these two bolts at the back all right so the two bolts at the back gonna be 18 millimeter so this is what i do i get put this right here like this to get more leverage on it so um can pull it Take out the bottom one first, all right? Just put it in there for a little bit. So you take this off and then you take the rotor off and you'll get your new rotor, you'll clean your new rotor and put the rotor back on but make sure you line this back up with here. So that's good. And you're gonna put this on but I'm gonna clean this and um, put it back on, all right? All right, I got it all cleaned up, so I'm gonna um, take this off, the sliding pin, and put some grease on it. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to move freely. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Grease it up. Once again, you don't need a lot. Alright, so now, put this back. So this the problem right here, you see, right here. You no space right there to work, put a socket or anything. That's why you gotta come forward with this. You see? Now you come forward with it, you got space there, alright? That's why I come forward. Time to tighten it up. Alright, so that's nice and tight. You use it more freely. Now it's time to put back this right here. Time to put the pads in. 
So you want to get the pads with the wear indicator. You want to put it, make, let, the, let it press against the piston, all right? back one is a little tricky to go in sometimes but just like what you put in the front one is the same way you put in the back one all right all right so I got them both in so now I'm gonna um put this on right here But I noticed it came to one, so I gotta wind it down some more, alright? And it's the same way you wind it before. time it goes in all right so if you don't go in first just wind me some more catch back your 30 millimeter So that's it. Double check your work. Make sure everything is tight. Make sure you got both pads in. Rotor is tight. And go ahead and put on your tire. All right. Tire is on. Got your lug nut. Tighten up your tires and um, after that you want to pump the brakes up, alright? After you pump the brakes up, I'm going to give a thumbs up if I help you, subscribe to the channel if you're new, see you next time. So yeah, after you put on your tire you want to come on the inside and also um, when you're on the inside, you want to pump the brakes up. Alright. After you pump the brakes up, that's it. That's how you change your brakes. And now, um, Chevy Malibu. Alright. I think these start from 20. I think these start from 20. 2013 to 2016 I'm not sure about that but it's around that model year all right thank you for your love and support see you next time